there, everybody. Welcome to Mud Runners or uh, Spin Tires, a Mud Runners game. Uh, Mud Runners, a Spin Tires game. Spin Tires, a Mud Runner game. This is a sweet game that uh, kind of came out a while ago. I think, where was it? Do I have it right here? Shit. 2014, yeah, it was 2014 when the Spin Tires came out. Kind of like a no name game and made by like one guy. How you doing, Advanced Chicken and Pedro? Anime dude. Like, the concept of the game is you're a logger, kind of like a, um, a truck simulator. You're going out, collecting wood, bringing it to a station. That's it. But the great thing of this was you're going through, like, you know, Russia's boor uh, taiga and boreal uh, forest, which is, like, tons of mud. And so, he's got to spin those tires. Uh, that game went through some development hell over the past three years. Uh... From like the publisher taking con full control, the the, the developer uh, who was act single handedly developed this with I mean like the core of it he probably farmed out some of the music and textures, but the core of it was this one guy he got like exiled um, to like the game was off you couldn't buy it on Steam for like a couple weeks and it kind of went over some uh, like yo what the hell is going on with this game and there's been actually a couple good articles about spin tires um, you should check them out. I should have, should have probably found it, but they're from Eurogamer. Some really good articles about, like, what was happening. So, what happened was Focus Entertainment took took the rights, I think, and then they um, hired the original developer on. And this is kind of like a sequel slash remaster slash maybe brand new game spinoff. Um, so, it contains all the new, the same maps and some new stuff added. But, like, that's okay. Like, it, it, they actually have, like, a 50% discount for people that have bought it. So, this game is, I think, 30 bucks on Steam right now. It was 10% off for the, uh, for the like, a pre-order. It just came out yesterday. And then, if you uh, own Spin Tires, you also get an additional 50% uh, off. So, like, not bad. For, like, 12 bucks, you get, like, kind of a more updated game. Um, and then a new map. So, let's get going into the uh, game. Uh, how you doing, Super Saiyan? Killer Panda. Cool, man. Don't worry. We're going to be spending some titers. So the concept of this game is just, like, really spending titers. We'll, we'll talk about, like... I like to talk about cars and, you know, differentials and, and, and all-wheel drive. And, and I like cars and vehicles. Not just cars. Trucks. Um, you know, all that stuff. So let's, uh, let's get going here. Um, so here we got to start. This is where we're going to start. There's logging stations and lumber mills. Uh, let's actually start. There's a new... I think the Delage uh, is the new map. We got Seashore, Crossing, and Downhill. Let's do the island. Um, and we'll start with... Uh, there's also Hardcore, which means cannot recover... Uh, can only recover in garages. Damage to the truck is permanent. Wait, no. Damage, damaging the truck doesn't change its parameters. Oh, in catch. Okay, in hardcore, damage truck will struggle to steer. Differential lock doesn't affect steering wheels and damage. So it's a little bit more realistic. So let's. Uh, oh shit! Well, hold on. <sighs> hold on. I didn't mean to start it. Fuck it. We're... I haven't played this in a while, so playing, uh, playing, playing hardcore is not a good idea. Play, uh, switch to castle, start casual. Yes. So I actually have some footage of old spin tires. I, I wanted to get Lance into this because I think this will be great because this is also oh, uh, multiplayer in here. So you got different, like, Russian trucks too. So right now, I think there's a, a map. Let's, uh, let's actually change trucks to the, um, uh, to this guy right here. Um, so that's repair. Okay, so you can add, like, fuel. You use fuel over time, but if you run it out, you can use that. There's also repair points. Spare tire. Okay, no. Okay, let's, uh, let's get going here. Lock it. Okay. Oh, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. So, there were kind of, it's, so this car is a real-world drive car. So what happens is we now can just let's just put the all-wheel drive. Wait, oh, is it Q? No. E. So now all wheels are, are are moving at the same time. 
So this is how all-wheel drive works. Four-wheel drive. Um, is there a map? Let's see here. Controls. Horn. It's G. It's G. It's weird. Hey, Austin. Okay, map uh, is F1. Hey, Jack. Okay, cool. So there's also, like, hidden spots, too. So we need to get to the lumber mill. Uh, there's some cards here. Block post is uh, closed. Okay. This map's actually a lot better. And we can set waypoints, too. So here's a log kiosk. Log kiosk. And we need to get... Uh... So, yeah, let's just follow this road right here. We can... And if we get shit, uh, we're just going to scout it out. It's best to use this small one. And it looks like we're already stuck, so we're going to switch the differential. So what the differential does um, is it makes it so all the tires are going at the same time. Uh, this is a concept that was made in the 60s, I think it was? No, maybe in the 40s. Um, well, now it looks like we're all kind of fucked here. So let's uh, we're going to go into advanced mode and get the winch out. The winch out. There we go. 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 That's good enough. And take the parking brake off. Wow. We're like not even in the. Not even outside the main area, and we're already getting stuck real bad. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So what happens is it burns more fuel because every tire is now moving at the same rate. A different, uh, uh, a, a differential causes it to spin. So when you're in a turn, the right side, say you're turning right, your right side will spin faster than your left, or your left side will spin faster than your right side due to physics and all that. So this is where I need to drop off, uh, Logs. But right now, we're just going to be driving our little Jeep here, just looking for some stuff. Now we're on the road here. There is some road in here. So we can save some fuel. So now I've unlocked this. Then you go faster without all-wheel drive and differential lock. Truck with no lumber. Oh, okay, pass. Okay, so this truck can. Okay. So I can't. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Whoa, dude, I just drifted that. Okay. So that that means wood. Uh, you can't pass through here if you have wood. Um, so it's we gotta kind of keep on. We want to kind of reveal the shroud so we can see a little bit more. Let's switch it to all wheel. Back in the days, you actually had to go out and lock the uh, the wheels. Uh, now, with modern technology, you just hit a button. Lamborghinis are actually famous for being all wheel drive. There's advantages to all-wheel drive since every tire is moving at the same at the, at the same time. Uh, you know, it's all relative. You get a really nice log speed, but you lose a lot of the control or handling because you know everything just takes forever to go. So you get uh, oversteer, no, understeer, understeer, understeer compared to something like a real-wheel drive. That's the garage. So to get garages, there's also garages around the map. You actually have to send um, uh, like 
repair points to it. So you gotta sit big trucks. Let's get closer to it. Once you're at once you unlock a garage, you can refuel there anytime. Yeah, so we need to bring a couple of things here to unlock it. Garage points. You can actually put that on your trailer once you go to another garage. So at this point, is this a logging simulator kind of a thing? Kind of a truck simulator? Uh, there's actually a little bit of a strategy to it, too, on how you handle, like, different terrain. Does a pretty good job at a lot of, like, ha like understanding if you there's grass here, there's, it's probably going to be smoother if it's just, like, straight up dirt. past the logging, uh... Well, I just took a shit ton of damage. Very, like, truck simulator. Oh, God, that's not good. Oh, here's the shroud. The fog of war. The gap generator. If you know what that is. Riddler. Throw it back. So now that that's, that's revealed. Um, okay, let's try to go down in here. Actually, let's uh, let's go. We could just cut through this. Also, this whole world is open up, so we could just literally go straight through here and just cut right through this. Turn off the uh, public drive too. Save some fuel. It's also a shitty, like, cockpit mode, but, like, this, this is great, some great gadgets right here. Look at this sweet debt. Look at this. Taking some serious damage. It's a lot of damage. Okay, let's get out of here. How do I get out of here? How do I... How do I get out of here? Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. There's no, like, animals you're gonna find. So it's a pretty sterile environment, but it's, like, kind of cool. Uh, we're, since we are, like, one of the easier levels, you know, trying to figure out how to get out of things. Um, you know, we're kind of scouting it out. This, this Jeep is actually extremely easy to get through stuff. But once we start loading in items into our truck, it's gonna add weight. And so the, that's factored into the calculations of, hey, Because you're loaded pretty heavily, you know, you're not going to get through this as easily. Some vehicles don't actually feature all-wheel drive. Some don't even feature a differential lock. Some feature a differential lock, but don't feature all-wheel drive. You got me. You got me, Hardcore. You got me. Oh, man. But it's a good one, yeah? It's, it's, it's a good one. So there's just random buildings around here, too. There is steering wheel support. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Some vehicles are like, you know, this this uh, eight-wheeler is going to be a lot better than this four-wheeler, but it's going to burn through a lot. Where are we at here? So we're getting through here. In hardcore, if like this thing gets totally wrecked, I could just tank it back to the um, to the garage, like teleport it. But in hardcore, shit is left here, so we can see some water physics right here too. Oh shit! Oh Jesus, that's bad. That's bad. Oh god, that's not bad. Oh shit! I thought it was. That's. Yeah, it's, it's just roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. There we go. 
Okay, okay, okay. Start the engine. Start the engine. Start the engine. Come on, God, God. Come on, baby. Come on. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit, yeah. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Holy shit, dude. You see this shit, man? Fucking rolled it. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Oh man, that was hilarious. Okay. So now that we kind of unlocked, uh, kind of like give out the waypoints. Again, we can't go through here. Uh, recovery to garage. So we can just teleport to the garage right now. Um, and we also haven't unlocked one truck, I guess. So you can pick up fuel here. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back to the garage. Uh, yes. There we go. So we're gonna actually turn this off. And we're going to take this guy. So we're going to load it with garage parts. There we go. Garage trailer. And we can just do that. There we go. Okay, installed. Oh shit, this doesn't have... This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Does this have all-wheel drive? No, this 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 does not have all-wheel drive. Well, don't be a bitch. Okay, no, that's that's not okay. Just flip it. I just flip it, and then it's just like you know, whatever, dude. We got this. Okay, okay, we're gonna do that. We're just setting up our Siri navigation. Hey, Google. We can go through that, go through that, and go through that. Okay, cool. Yeah, we don't talk about that hardcore. It felt like the vehicle totally flipped over, and if that happened in real life, I'm pretty sure this whole thing would have been flooded. And, like, maybe I would have drowned. I'll be like pounding on the window, help me, help me, help me. So we can see how many liters I'm using a minute. 13 liters. I don't know what a liter is. I assume that's some sort of like 40 metric. If anybody knows what a liter is, please tell me. So I have any... It would have been better if I said how many L's. But I know what a liter is. Wow. Like a liter of cola. Now, this thing is uh, six wheel drive, and I got the lock of the French rule. We're gonna get through this, no problem. So, you can also, like, tow cars, too. So I can let, let's see here, let's see here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop everybody, stop. So we top that, we press this, we, uh, we can actually, wait. Uh, yes? No. There's no winch on this, okay. Well, screw it. It's gonna get rough. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. It's fine. So this is also on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 for 30 bucks. You recommend that? Like, if this game looks cool and you don't have that version? Or you don't have PC? It, it, I mean, it's not the best looking game. There is some, like, blurry textures and not sharp, but it's still, like, a really cool game. 
I think there's just like it's that simulator type of S game where like it does a really good job at what it's trying to do. And if you find this fun, dude, it, this is like really relaxing. Uh, you're kind of just like out the road driving. Underwater too is it's like building a building some tread too. So like even where I drive, if I constantly keep on driving over this one area, there's like terrain deformation. It's pretty cool. Well good luck on your exam, man. Field. Um. Okay, trailer wrench. Here we go. Log carrier. So we can get like different log carriers. There's there's tons of different tracks. We get a log carat that can hold uh, short logs, medium and long rods. Only if I get the cart. Yeah. So I can get another cart there too. Okay. This should help be able to hold. Yeah, that should be able to hold. Yeah. What is this? What is, what is this? Okay. Required to. Okay. Is required to install medium long cart. Long cart. So these are required for medium. Okay. And then. Okay. Yeah, this should be good. I, I don't think I can hold. No, we're going to start off with baby, baby steps, guys. We're just going to do with the, um... Go ahead and install this. UI is not, not the easiest. Yeah, we're, we're just going to start simple. We're going to get some fuel. Um... Get some fuel. And then head back. And we're just going to go through this this shit right here. Uh, the log kiosk. That. There we go. Shit. Let me do that. Nope. Probably not. I heard the PC version is pretty effed up. So now that we're here, we got refueled. Uh, this is where we can actually get, uh, you know, if we needed a tank, we could fill this up. We can even, in some situations, like I can put a, like a, if there was one map uh, in the first one where like I would put a halfway station here, get like one of these other trucks and just fill it with a big huge tank and a trailer of gas. And then, so I wouldn't have to go to this uh, gas the fuel station because the garage only repairs it never really refills it refills up to 50% um, okay. Okay, let's go. this is kind of a day and night cycle too there's also mod support workshop mod support It had a lot of, um, like, mods. You could add, like, a Toyota Helix and some custom shit. It was pretty cool. So we could probably loot more of the, the flock. And probably the uh, all-bell. No, we go keep the all-bell. So, yeah, going through this would be easier than going through this. Grass. So 
gonna be clean. Actually, for when Wolfenstein thought it came out, I was actually really thinking about maybe getting Wolfenstein Rogue Spear, the Wolfenstein 3D, the first one. Uh, that that's like on sale on GOG for like a, like a couple bucks. That would have been hilarious. But yeah, so like Wolfenstein is a weird game. It's been like developed by like several different developers uh, and publishers. Like it was first by ID, and they made. Rogue Spear, that's the first 3D one. Which is actually based on another weird game. And then they made Return to Capital Wolfenstein, which was like a really intense uh, shooter. Especially in the competitive scene. And I think that that version is still free. Uh, and then there's also, what do you call it? Uh, then Wolfenstein, which came out a while ago for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 and PC. And then their new incarnations of Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein 2, the uh, New Order and Colossus were actually based on that remake from the 360. But that's like Raven Studios, Activision, and, um, you know, Id Tech, or no, Machine, I think it's Machine Games of Bethesda. It's kind of interesting. Oh, differential lock means um, this vehicle doesn't actually have differential lock because this is on casual. There's a differential lock. And then we just go like this. So in some situations in hardcore, you actually can do this like kind of... Let's park it. You actually have to do a crane. Okay, come on. Where do we do this? Am I missing something? Oh. Wait, what the hell? Do I? Uh oh. Hey there, Bear and Austin. How you doing? Uh, I think I actually need a crane. This is... Really weird. Yeah, okay, hold on. Let's, let's, uh, I guess we'll, we'll take it back to the, uh, the, this garage station here. Uh... Do I really need a crane? I thought I had this. Uh. No, what? Okay, advanced frictions. No way. Okay. I guess we're gonna head on out then and then I have to use the other other um, other one. Okay, where am I? Okay, I'm here. There we go. Yeah, I heard that Wolfenstein 2 was pretty good. Okay, let's get some light. But it was just like the PC version is pretty buggy. How you doing, weird chow? The weird cow. So in hardcore, you're actually supposed to... Weird. In hardcore, you, you deliver the, uh, the uh, logs by yourself with a crane. Hmm, interesting. I did a tutorial and it kind of just put that stuff in my trailer. Maybe there's a different kiosk. Oh, there's one right here. Oh, I need to take it to the lumber mill. Oh, fuck. Well, shit. Well, go away. There you go. Okay. 
She was here earlier. Oh, okay. So the logging station, I can just put... Okay. Can I put... Log... Okay. Okay, we're just gonna redo this again. So these are all the pre-cut ones. Okay. Uh, cover. Okay. We also we also need to find we still need to find the logging station. So let's uh, let's actually get back into my. Um... Is this it? waypoints here so there's some water over here so we got to watch out for that uh huh uh huh or is it like is it this way maybe can i even make through this let's see here there we go Come on, come on. We're, we got this. Well, we're stuck. Okay, let's uh, let's get the winch. Uh, advanced. Isn't there? This thing doesn't have. Oh no, here it is. I just click on this stuff. Everything has a winch. Okay. Well, there's something over here. Shit. On a stick. Come on, we got this. It's still moving. Yeah, I guess we'll plow through it. Burn through that seal. Hey there, Fleming Seco. I like how the red line cuts to the, uh, the, 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 the fog. Uh, not really. He only has a few good songs. Cat scratch fever. Bam, bam. Oh my god. They sang that like during like some presidential thing, didn't they? Like it was super weird. I think it was like a couple years ago. Uh, it was really fucking. He's weird. Ah, oh, here we go. Another river. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew it was a Trump rally. I thought it was. I thought it was last presidential election, not the 2016 one. That's really fucking weird. That that song's about like, I think an STD. That's a lot of damage. Oh. Thing. 
rocks. Where are we at? We're cutting into the uh, the shroud here a little bit. I think it's about an STD or like some sort of sex thing. Jesus. Oh, there's a car vehicle right here. Huh. Okay, there's a lumber mill. Okay, we're gonna try to get to the uh, shroud. Wait, that John Woo movie? Oh, there it is. So, if your vehicle is strong enough, you can uh, kind of just like cut through a lot of this stuff. Where's this? Where is? Oh, that's that's where I'm at. Okay, so did I unlock everything? Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so that was actually kind of clean. Let's go to the garage, and then we're gonna um, kind of get an. Uh, let's see here. It's probably easier if I just go through here. We'll do, uh, we'll do, um, kind of, no, not garage parts, log carriage, short logs, okay. So I do, okay, no, I can, I, okay. Okay. And then uh, let's uh, let's get in our waypoint here. And then... Boop, 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 and boop. But yeah, it's just like this and, and American Truck Simulator and a couple other, like, kind of trucking games. A lot of people, like, you can have some really funny moments in this. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, shit. Well, I fell into a ditch. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, I do need the medium cart. God dang it. Okay. Well, let's uh, recover the garage. And, um... Okay. There we go. So, like, even, re like, reverse is going to be a little bit different now. And we could probably get rid of this stuff. I like how H is lights, but... Like, G is horn. There's a G in light, but there's no... Uh, I guess there's an H in lights, too. Uh, so, like, when this first... The Spin Terrors came out, it was, like, really... Had a bare bones, and like didn't even have a driver inside. They added that later on, which is kind of cool. And 
And so I have to make this straight, too. There we go. Not the easiest. So now, like, it's all rigid and shit. You can see I'm already slowing down. Yeah, and like hardcore, it, like these things can turn over and then like ruin your day. Because these are kind of top heavy. Okay, let's let's set up some waypoints. Come on, come on. You got this. You got this, baby. Come on, come on. Push it. Almost there. It would be cool if they, like, added, like, weather effects. But realistically, this is more like a deluxe version of the original game. Um... I don't, I, th I think they just revamped a lot of the maps. That's not really kind of like a remake. It's more of like, a, I guess it's like a remake. But it would be really cool if they like updated the visuals a little bit. Uh, maybe added a little bit more dynamicness to it. Again, I haven't, there's a couple new maps I haven't seen. Goddess as simple spin tires? I don't know what you mean. Spin tires is like, it's it's spin tires, but like a little bit more. See you, Austin. Thanks for stopping by. Like, I am on casual. It's a little bit more forgiving in casual. Oh, Jesus. Tree over there kind of scared the shit out of me. Like the camera controls are a little bit pain in the ass still. But I really hope they, like, support this game going forward. Because they did bring back the original guy. And they're like, okay, is this just going to be, like, kind of like a remake? Is this going to be, like, are they going to, like, support this? A lot of... Now, video games, like, are a service nowadays. And, like, there's a there's people that believe that, hey... Um, what the hell? Oh, oh, fuck that. That, like, hey, if a game isn't getting updated regularly, it's dead. I mean, it's perfectly fine to get a game that is done. Um, you know, and you don't really need to do more with it. Like, Spin Tire is, like, a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, the, the game's this. Like, no, there's a lot to do in that game. The hardcore is pretty cool. Uh, you know. There's a lot of cool stuff to do. And I, I, and I just wonder what they have plans for this game. Now that games are a service. You don't make sequels anymore. You kind of just... Keep patching games. I mean, I, I should say for like more of the like indie games. Shit, we're hauling ass now. I think they did add a snow level, which is kind of cool. It's, 
It is cool that they did bring it to Xbox One and PlayStation 4. I think that's really cool. Um, I, 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 I don't know how the controls were handled. I feel like having a mouse is uh, really nice. But this game does support uh, steering wheel support. Which is kind of cool. I mean, the objective is pretty much just like, you know, any other truck simulator. But it's just like a little bit more, I feel, uh, you know, kind of challenging. So now I have to deal with about fuel, but I can easily just, you know, go in the casual. Is that vehicle working? Oh shit, that vehicle is... right here oh yeah sometimes you need to bring vehicle like repair vehicles too that's cool oh there it is yeah, but because this is casual it just does that automatically like the terrain deformation looks really cool runs on a lot of stuff too like I think it's, it's like recommended that or recommended that you have a uh, you know 470 I think graphics card which isn't like really not that much so it should run pretty well on, uh, on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 I mean it is kind of like gray not a lot of view distance, so you can, you know, not a lot of pixel popping. I feel like games nowadays are like, draw distance is a new thing. You know, things have to be extremely drawn out. Or, you know, the viewing distance. Thus, uh, you know, lowering performance. Uh, Fallout 4 on the Xbox One and, and PlayStation 4 was like, holy shit. Like when you were in the uh, vertebrae. I think that's what it's called. Flying around in one of the missions. It looked like the ground looked like blocks. It was pretty bad. But you can, you can see the whole map. Not no N64 game. Or PlayStation 2 game. PlayStation 1 game. I guess PlayStation 2 games had that too. Which one am I going? But what is this red shit? I guess I could turn right down here too. Come on. Oh, here we go. There we go. So you can also tow other vehicles, and you can have it where they they, they like follow you. It's kind of cool. You can also like have it like kind of like there's a little bit of an AI to it where like yo, just just have it you know also accelerate too at the same time. So this is a completely different developer. Uh, here's like, like like originally this game was developed by that one guy that Russian, or I think it was Ukrainian, 
and then I think Ovel, I think it was the thing, picked it up and kind of like started doing their own thing and then the developer didn't, wasn't paying him. A lot of weird shit happens on Steam with the indie sector. Uh, from what I've known, what, from what I've read from some of the, like, the Twitter and some, some of the community, what they have to say is that this is from Focus Entertainment, who's like kind of like a well-known publisher, and uh, they picked it up, and then they're developing it in-house. They've also rehired the original developer. But it feels like the same game. It does have a little bit of a more polish to it, and the maps are a little bit different, but the fundamentals are still the same. I don't know. I, I really wish they cleaned up the camera a little bit. It's not fun to navigate still. This is PC version. This PC version. This is on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Uh, those... I mean, it's like 30 bucks, I think. Yeah, it's 30 bucks, which is not bad. Like, this game is pretty cool. Like, if you're into, like, kind of truck simulator games, which is, you know... American truck simulator, European truck simulator. Oh wow, there's actually oil down there now. That's I've never seen that before. That's a new feature. I thought that was an artifact of my monitor. But it's like 50% off, and it's still 50% off for people that have owned spin tires. Uh, I think their marketing is a little bit confusing, as they're calling it Mud Runners, a Spin Runners, Spin Tires game, or a Spin Tires the Mud Runner game. It, it's just really weird. But it's like a really niche game. I just wish they had more to it. Like, some animal life would be pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, it's it's still fundamentally the same game. If you want more, I mean, it's 15 bucks if you have, if you don't have, if you have spin tires. Not bad. They added a, a new cockpit mode, but it looks like crap. Like, this, this, this whole camera is like a pain in the ass to navigate. Uh, it should be like, it should just be, it shouldn't be in 3D. It should just be like presented onto the screen. Like, this looks cool. Like, this looks cool, but it's just such a pain in the ass to, to, uh, to, uh, navigate there is challenge modes too uh multiplayer is still in this when i did boot it up uh there was one lobby i wonder if they actually cleaned up multiplayer i i heard that multiplayer could be a little bit rough uh, I wonder how the mod support will work, too, for multiplayer. The controls, like, the vehicle controls are still pretty good. They're kind of the same. I played a lot of the original spin tires, about, like, 20 hours, and it does feel the same, but it's, you know, it's, it's a little bit different. So this is the island, and it does feel a little bit different. I feel like they have the same names, but different maps. It's, that could, I had to like triple click that thing in. Because there's clothing right there. Like, 
the textures are still kind of grimy right here. I'm just like, ugh. Oh, this looks like crap in here. Yeah, Russian. We're in the Russian boreal forest logging. Which I guess was like really big. Like, uh, that shit's really big. Why Why is there red shit right here? Maybe like, oh, depth? Maybe depth? Maybe? Hmm. Interesting. Oh yeah, this is one of the new things. They added a blockade feature. I never saw that in the original. Let's, uh, let's just turn left here. Thanks, Captain Bigsby. This is how we uh, save the forest. Uh, we just cut everything down. This is the the, the, the long. This is the end game of the, the game, the forest. I can get, well, I'm gonna go back to the forest. See how that game is. I haven't gone back to it in like a very long time. Do I take this one? Yeah, I do. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass to get up. This is too steep, too steep, too steep, too steep. Okay, we're gonna do this, do this. Ugh. sinking again deeper so like yeah like this shit like this is so cool i'm just sinking into the ground um wait, what is that okay that's that that's actually kind of cool they actually is that simulating like how much fuel i have in there too maybe yeah it does i think oh wait no that's just literally the color of my gas tanks never mind i have no idea because there's like a little weird thing right here Come on, come on. Jesus Christ. Jesus. So, like, oh, uh, like over time, it's going to get harder and harder, you know, going through this. Because as I go through it, it's, like, deforming the terrain. Okay, let's turn this movie around. Hey, Austin. I don't... Is it Russian? I don't know if it's like really Russian. I, th I, th I thought it was more like, you know, uh, like a Ukrainian game. But I love the original spin tires and, and, well, oh, we're so effed. And like this and American Truck Simulator are just like really cool games. That are kind of relaxing and they make you want to think of like. Come on, baby, come on. Make you think about like puzzle solving. No, that's not like. Here we go. Like, how am I gonna get out of this predicament? There we go, there we go. 
come on, baby, come on. Like, you don't want to actually stop. You want to keep on moving. Come on, come on. Okay. Jesus. I do not remember. Am I going the right way? Oh, shit. I'm going the wrong way. Eh. This is the new way I haven't gone, so this might be a little bit cleaner. Yeah, let's check it out. That's okay, man. Uh. I don't think this is a Russian. No Russians. Remember, guys, no Russians. Um. I was playing The Division a while ago, for when that game was a thing. And uh, we were doing that Russian consulate mission, which is like one of the last missions, and I was like, teaming me up with some Russians, and it was hilarious. I'm like, no Russians, remember. As we're like walking through the, uh, through the, uh, you know, walking through the Russian consulate, the entrance. We all shared a laugh. I felt like we built bridges. Belt bridges. Oh shit! The most passable car in the car. What the hell does that mean? I take that as a Russian proverb, yeah. Oh shit! Oh Jesus! Wait, where am I? I wonder if I could just like skip over this shit and just like cut through here. Eh. I feel eh, meh. Like, the map is pretty cool. At least with this new track, I'm not going to get really stuck in. It's fresh. I think originally this was on CryEngine, too. Like, don't quote me on that. Remember that engine? But oh, jeez. That's okay, man. Oh, oh. There we go. Wait, what achievement is that? Deliver a load without receiving any damage and switch to other truck. Oh, okay, cool. And mission accomplished. Thank you. That's all the loads delivered. Is that it? The hell? Isn't that... Aren't I done? Oh. Drive the log kiosk uh, and use for its crane to pick up... Okay. Or drive the log station and load up. Okay. Recall. <sighs> okay. What... What do I do? Oh! Oh, there's... There's two of these. Okay, so I have to deliver more logs over here. Okay. Yeah, this shouldn't be that bad. Mm, and we'll just drive that one. Okay. Um. Yeah, this should be really easy. Let's fucking let's let's do the uh the big one. Spare no sort medium. Where oh um wait hold on let's let's actually get the big guy. Where's that big guy? Is that this over here? And then we'll just, uh, cover to a garage. There we go. Okay. 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 Advanced. 
turn off. Trailer is empty. Oh. Hold on. Okay, change trucks. Let's get this out of here. Not a big fan of the Ford. Wish to... I was just gonna try my Russian accent and I already just stopped myself. Wish to come to America to drive big muscle car. Talk to beautiful women. Drink Budweiser. Apple pie. That's my foreign accent. <laughs> and then that's when he left. Trying to there we go. There we go. There we go. Repaired. Okay, and uh short carriage utility. Oh. Pull some eye. What the hell? Oh wow, okay, so this this can't really do much. Okay, so I, I, I like using this is not going to really help. I can install like four logs here, I guess. Okay, yeah, this one's bad. That's cool. I guess that would balance it out because that thing is just like way too powerful. in your truck properly. Okay, hold on. Oh, there's a vehicle in the way. Okay. And... Here we go. Come on. Okay. Let's rock and roll. Fireproof exhaust. Hmm. What does requires? Hmm, interesting. Okay, so where are we going? We're gonna go. Just like take a left right here, and then let's go over here. Yeah. Okay. Is there a gas station over here, maybe? Shit. No, there isn't. There's a gas station over there. Eh, we should be fine. So we're just kind of like taking a... Here we go. Let's rotate that a little bit better. So take it left and then kind of just following that line. So I need to bring wood here. about New York. Uh, yeah, that, that shit's crazy, dude. That shit's crazy. Worst terrorist attack in New York? I mean, that's not saying much because there really hasn't been a terrorist attack in New York since 9-11. Oh, 
Oh, this looks good. This looks sexy. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're gonna have fun when we get a full load of logs through this. I like how this stream, like, eh, that's cool. Okay, I'm just, like, still going through this, yeah? I actually... Um... Let's go left. Since I'm gonna cross this, might as well cross it just once instead of three times. Come on, baby. Go, 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 go. Oh, Jesus. There we go. And here I am. Cool. Just go straight. It shouldn't be that hard. So where am I going? Okay, so just like let's do that, 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 that. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, baby, come on, come on. You got this. You got this. Come on. There we go.
Oh, this guy like rotates this wheel a lot. Holy shit. the edge. Can we, uh, can we do a wind chair? Yeah, we can do a winch over there. We're gonna do that, just in case. Yeah, we're fine. Oh god, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. There we go, there we go, there we go. Don't stop till you get enough. We're starting to slip. We're starting to slip. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on. I'd rather have a uh, Ford over a Dodge. They don't make really good Chrysler. Doesn't, I think it's still Chrysler. Is it Chrysler still? They don't make really good cars or truck. I mean trucks, really. They don't even make cars anymore. Whatever happened to that? That was like that was the automobile company that kind of folded. Yeah. The Chevy and Ford now. And then there's like. Jeep and Dodge and Chrysler. But Chrysler is not a brand anymore. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. With your support, I can make this. That was crazy, dude. That whole, like, shit with the bailouts back in the 2008, 2009, where, like, the, the, all, the, all the banks got bailed out, and we're like, the, the, uh, the car manufacturers just showed up and looked jets like, yo, give us money, we're gonna all be fucked. And they're like, dude, what the hell are you talking about? And I guess Ford came out pretty good. I don't know, I'm thinking more of a, like, I, I wouldn't like a Ford Mustang, but, like, maybe a Ford, like, Focus or a Fiesta. Nice hot hatchback. I don't know, one of those hatchbacks would be pretty cool. Yeah, Chevy is GM. General Motors. Let's actually, let's make this a little bit more complicated. Um. Oh, wait, no, not really. Let, let's, uh, let's do this. I want to show this off. This is actually really cool. So this is, like, the cool thing about this game. Like, you would set up, like, a depot... So you can like set up another truck here with repair tools. So you can have your own kind of garage without like having to go back to a garage on a route. Let's see here. Okay, let's do that. And then we'll go back to this guy. As long as they're not donating to, like, terrorism, that's perfectly fine with me. I mean, the guy that invented, um... The guy that invented, uh, Oculus and, uh, modernized, modern, uh, modernized VR as we know it, kind of set up a... a pro-Trump meme factory. This is kind of hilarious. 
Uh, though it's kind of like, if you're looking back on it, it's kind of dumb and really shows that like, you know, maybe the internet, maybe we could just shelve the internet for a little bit. Just shelve it. Okay, so what we do here, actually, let's see. There's a, it's a way, like we can advance. There's a way to refuel. Oh, wait, no, I have to... Oh, yeah, here, here we go. Uh, stop engine. Here we go. And so I can also repair this guy, too. I can also repair myself. And I can also feel myself, too. Yeah, that's, what, that, that's so cool. And then we can just change back. And now I have full power, full fuel. I mean, when you buy a diamond, you're you're supporting terrorism, really. Conflict with diamonds, and I guess like I was reading on the internet, is what you're supposed to do is ask for lab-grown tires. <laughs> yeah, lab-grown tires, they're the best. <laughs> no, lab-grown um, diamonds, they're the same thing, but they're conflict-free. Even if they say conflict-free, they can't guarantee it's going to be conflict-free, because you know. Diamonds have been fought over some crazy shit, dude. It's nasty. Uh, there's a good, actually, a movie about that stuff. It, it's, uh, it has um, another Leonardo DiCaprio. Fucking love that guy. If he ever, him and Tom Hanks, if they ever have a scandal, I'm like, fuck it, I'm done. Life doesn't mean anything anymore. The two great actors have like some sort of scandal. I mean, Kevin Spacey was okay. It really sucks that you know using his gay, gay statement to uh, get away from out from you know molesting a kid uh, remember um, uh, what's his name shit okay. what's her name oh Jesus the, 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 the transgender chick now uh, god what what's what was his name he was like an Olympic medal winner for, for sprinting and then like ran over somebody didn't go to prison like killed him didn't go to prison and then became a woman like holy shit dude oh man that was fucked up Bruce uh, Bruce Jenner yeah that's who it was Bruce Jenner and I think it was Blood Diamond was the uh, Leonardo DiCaprio movie yeah that was a crazy Crazy uh, situation. And then, like, she was awarded Woman of the Year? I don't know. Yeah. Awards of our guys and gals. Dang it. Ugh. Come on, baby, come on. There we go. So in hardcore, you don't have the station. You have to go to the kiosk and do it manually. With a crane. So you can have, like, one vehicle here being the, the pickup and another vehicle being uh, or another vehicle being the hauler one vehicle being the uh, the loader so this like game is like really crazy in multiplayer because of shit like that and then once you get into the into the bag it kind of locks in which is nice unless they made it harder or easier I don't know But how's everybody doing on this wonderful Wednesday? I hope you guys all had fun on Halloween. <sighs> you know, I know this is not the most entertaining thing, but like, there's something to to it. 
They're just like a, a bit of like kind of like the Sims, you could say, where like you, everything you control, you can understand. Like there's no out, like there's no. You're not gonna have to worry about wind. You're not gonna have to worry about a lot of things. It's just you and the open road, Stravin. That's why I like. I think American Truck Simulator. Uh, it's really cool. I'm not a big. I, I never really got into European truck Euro Truck Simulator due to the fact that like it's in Europe and it just doesn't resonate well with me. Um, but I really love American Truck Simulator. I think it's really cool. And, and there's multiplayer to that through a mod. And it's just, like, really relaxing, you know? And I, I really wanted to show this game off, though. Again, it doesn't seem as much popular as some other stuff. You know, it, it's just... I really wanted to show this, and, and, and it's why kind of I stream. I feel like there's a sense of relax... Uh, relaxation in, in some of this stuff. We're like, there's just... We're kind of just chatting, you know, nothing really going on. Uh, we're just driving some trucks, trying to get some funny moments, but, you know, oh, shit, there we go. Of course, that was the only funny time where my Jeep run, and that was pretty much the highlight of this stream. And, and oh, all was downhill from there. I think this game's really cool, and I, I really feel like some people should check this game out. It is what it is. It, if you don't like the game, like, oh, of course, like, whatever. But... It does exactly what it's supposed to be doing, and I th think that's cool. Um, you know, it's not trying to be, like, some cutting-edge racing game like Forza. It's not going to try to be some, like, crazy-ass, you know, pixel-pushing game. It's not the next step in, in first-person shooters. You know, it's not changing how we do strategy games. It is just a simple truck game. Where you go on to the, Austra the, the Australian outback. Actually, that would be a pretty fucking cool map. The Russian Royal Forest and, and harvest the wood. And take chances and, and, you know, and, you know figure out logically how you're going to react. So, like, if I, you know, let's fucking do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. So, like... So, now, this, let, let's just say this is dead. Let's say this is dead. And so, let's, uh, let's, let's say that's dead. We, you know, if this is hardcore, we could just go here, and, um, yeah. We just start this baby up. Yeah, let's go. How is this not an all-wheel drive? Every oh wait no, the back wheels are spinning more. And like, it's kind of cool what you can do and what you can't do in this uh, in this game. Holy shit! Look at all this fuel burning. Those have, like, independent suspensions. That's crazy. Oh, shit! Nah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Look at independent suspensions. Okay, we're fine. Well, the, yeah, the game... The winch is really cool, and it really helps, like... An aspect of you know, this game is very cool. You know, I wish the map had a little bit more life. That would be pretty cool. Okay. Wish the camera controls were a little bit better. So we could go like here, fuel canister, and there we go. Now this guy's filled with fuel. But like this this vehicle is like four wheel is like eight wheel drive and could get through anything and not have a problem. So now we have this guy right here. We're gonna lock the diff. Burn all this fuel. Now this guy's stuck here. 
can do, we can go around here. Put on the pocket brake, do that. So, like, we could do different ways of how the truck will react. Um, so we can just pull it. But, but what we can do is just do that, do that, and then pull forward. that guy back into the thing. So now I'm just going to plow through this. Yeah, we're just like pushing this guy through. So there's like a lot of cool things you can do with this game. Uh, no, there is no hunting in this game. It's just a login game. If you're looking for hunting, I wish you should check out The Hunter Call of the Wild. That's a cool game. And that's it. And we just did the island. Um, and I, that, I think that's it for me. So we got, every, oh, we didn't get all the watch points, but we got all the vehicles. We consumed a bunch of hours. It took us an hour and 31 minutes. Oh, we traveled uh, nine kilometers and completed the game balance casual. Okay. The main menu. So there's different challenges too here. I don't damage your vehicle or any other vehicle. Uh, let's see. The rig. Huh. The small town. Don't drive the vehicle in the opposite road lane. Use the cockpit camera when driving with the trailer. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, and then there's different maps. Huh. That's cool. And then you can change the different, you know, mods. There's different cars. Uh, you know. You can use so like this one's a ba one balance and you know if you could use this one this requires a lot more there's also mod support um sucks that not all the maps are unlocked uh, requires one requires one okay we did unlock this one okay cool. but that's it for me guys i hope you guys all had fun um I might come back to this. I don't know. Didn't seem like this was very popular. No one's playing this online. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Kaboosh967. Tomorrow, we're going to be here with um, SteamWorld Dig or Solace. Solace. I forget which one. Forget. 
I'm gonna figure out which one I want to do. Those are two games I got that look pretty cool. And then maybe Friday we might do a Jackbox. We might do another Jackbox. That seemed like that was fun last time. Uh, maybe not many. We don't get any AFKers or anything. But yeah, this is Spin Tires Mud Runners. Uh, we just finished the island. I'll probably change the title to that too. Okay, let's let's uh, let's. Um, thanks for watching. Join our public Discord if you haven't already. Link in the description. Also, if you want to help, the best way to help me out, maintaining like you know, keeping me with good supply of at least some new games or, or something interesting. I might come back. I, I might do a PlayStation Four game here in the next few days. It's not next week, uh, so that should be pretty cool. But people like Kevin, Chacho, Amber, Erica, Saber, and Slowcat have helped me out with that. Check out that link in the description for that. I've also partnered up with Humble Bundle, which they just launched their Jumbo Bundle Ten. Uh, which I actually strongly, I'm just going to say this, do not buy that bundle. It looks like a bunch of shitty games or like really old games. Hold on, let me look at this bundle again. It like really doesn't look that interesting. Like a lot of these games are kind of old. Um, let's see here. Or like have been featured in other bundles. So like, ah, Great Goo's okay. It's not that interesting. Um, Oddworld, not really. Prototype 2, which is a shitty game. Kingdom New Land, which actually featured in a Humble Bundle, or Humble Bundle Monthly. Uh, and then How to Survive. Eh. And then, like, Wasteland 2, I think? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, if you spend $10 more, you get the, the Wasteland 2 uh, Director's Cut Standard Edition. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, see you guys on the next one. Bye!